I'm here with Sean and Alex from uh, Elecom Kobe Finis. Finis. Sorry, I always get that wrong. Hard luck today, guys. Brilliant game. Went to overtime. Both teams had two possessions. What are your initial thoughts and feelings after the game? Well, for me, like I said, like, like nobody should have their heads down. It was a good, was a good fought like game. No matter the outcome, we're just trying to, as a team, as we've been saying, like through and through, we just want to keep building. And that's the main thing right there. Good job. Uh, I just love you guys, man. They keep fighting. Um, definitely one of the things I noticed coming out here is just that effort of never giving up, and that's what's making this team better. Uh, I don't know how it was last year, but this year, no matter what the score was, no matter what it was, these guys never gave up. We feel like we could have stopped them at any point of the game. So I like that. We're going to keep getting better. Here. I think individually, I mean, both of you had you know, outstanding games. Sean, you were laying the wood on everyone. You hit the wrong guy and the return, number 21. Oh, yeah. He's going to be feeling that for the week. Get an interception. Alex, you got that you know, fumble recovery late in the game. That looked like he was going to seal it. Yeah. Um, after a loss like this, a really heartbreaking close loss, can you feel good about your own individual performances uh, or that doesn't I mean, matter at all? I mean, it's not really about individual. I mean, individually, we're going to go back and look at the film again. But like right now, like I said, we just we just... We're happy with the progress, we're upset with the outcome, but we want to just keep building on the momentum of just keep fighting and just, you know what I'm saying, and eventually good things are just going to happen just from doing the right things and just working hard, for sure. Yeah, um, just like Sean said, uh, those individual stats are nice, but the W would have been so much better. So we just know that picking up, you know, doing more, you know, doing an extra sack, you know, getting an extra interception, you know, could have boosted us that much, yep. just knowing that we got to keep grinding and keep working. But for you, let's say you were with an NFL team, obviously, you know, recently, do you, you still have dreams, obviously, of getting back in there? And do you think that individual stats in a league like this are important for you? Or? I mean, uh, even if I do decide, uh, everything's important. All this technique, I'm out here working on my technique, out here getting better every day, out here, you know, getting coached up by guys who know different things who went to America, are teaching me to get better with my hands and my technique and stuff. Things that I, you know, you don't focus back in America because, with, you know, every coach doesn't focus on another detail, but that's what I love about out here. It's fight, 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 little details matter. So, I like it all. Your opponents today, um, obviously Charles Chow, who was in the NFL as well, and he said one of the differences with the X League is everyone here gives it 100%. Yes. There's no guys slacking up. You'd agree with that? I 100% I agree with that. Like, no matter where these guys are, they, it could be a bubble screen that way. The whole D-line's running, trying to get it. Oh, yeah. So that, that's just the effort we like to play with, and that's what I love about this team. Yeah. That's, the biggest, that's the biggest thing we've been trying to like, just keep instilling, is just like, just keep fighting and keep, keep hustling every play. Did you come into the game? Did you have a sense that you were going to do so well? I mean, obviously people I mean, would yeah, expect I mean, that IBM to win this. Yeah, but. I mean, like, like I said, like obviously, like you, we go into every game, you we, we, we plan to win, you know. So coming in this game, like we were planning to win. So like I said, like, like the outcome is we didn't get the outcome we wanted, but like I said, like I'm, I'm, I'm definitely proud of my team for fighting and you know what I'm saying, working hard because like I said, like, like a lot of people from the outside looking in, they don't know what we do every day, so they don't know like the work that everybody's been putting in. So like for us being in the inside, it's like. It's like it's, it feels good like to keep like growing with it. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, we're, we're up here in Kanto. We don't see what you oh, guys yeah. are doing down there. You know, we just see the game results. Watch the first game. Apart from the beginning against Panasonic, you guys were, you know, balled out. I mean, you had them most yeah. the rest of the way, and then you, you know, blew out. I think with Cyclones, someone like that. So, I mean, we thought you were good, but we didn't realize you were this good. You know. Yeah. You think you could go far this year? Or? I mean, like I said, we don't we don't want to make no any predictions and all that stuff. But like I said, we just, we just want to each week just keep growing and keep working hard. Okay, well then the next week you've got I think uh, Lix, Silver Star. Uh, Silver Star. You, Silver Star and you've got Lixel left. Yep. Silver Star haven't been doing so well recently. Lixel today they ran Nojima close yep. again. So I mean, are, are you looking ahead of the Lixel game? Or are you absolutely no, focused no, no. on the this Silver Star? Five days away, so yeah. yeah. Lix, I mean, uh, Silver Star definitely right now. Sure. Okay. Well, thanks a million for talking oh, yeah. to us again, guys, and uh, good luck for the rest of the season. Oh, thank you. Watch out for the Kobe Finies. Oh yeah. <laughs>